I just got a set of the uh, new 9450 high performance propellers and I'm going to do a little test to compare the stock propellers to the new 9450s. I can tell you that the 9450s are more rigid than the originals, somewhat like a carbon fiber may be, so I'm not sure what the characteristics will be. But the test is going to involve just a quick ground level to 400 foot climb test. And uh, right now on the quad are the stock props, so I'm going to do that test first. I'm going to go straight out about uh, 50 or 75 feet, and then I'm going to just time an ascent up to 400 feet. We'll be able to see some more detail on that on the telemetry provided by the uh, Flytrex Live that's installed. So let's try this first test. I'm going to double check, make sure my recording's going. And uh, now we're going to go out about uh, 50 or 75 feet and then I'll do that climb. So let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm out a little way and I'm going to start my ascent right now. I'm at 140 feet. 200 feet now, 300 feet, 357, and that's 400 feet, and it took 30 seconds, 30 seconds to go from zero to 400 feet. Well, not quite zero because it wasn't on the ground, was it? But you get the idea. So now I'm going to just lazily bring this thing down, change the props to the new 9450s. I heard someone say that the new props were quieter too. And I don't know about that, but I did bring my uh, super duper skosh sound level tester and uh, the ambient sound here was showing about 70 decibels average and uh, just at a uh, hovering it went up to an average of about 76 so at this level it added about six decibels and this is none of this is scientific uh, I'd consider it logical rather than scientific. So I'm zigzagging this thing down. I'm down back down to about 79 feet now. So now we're going to bring this thing in and we're going to change the props and see if it's any different as far as the performance. Woo! That sunrise is bright. All right, it's stopped and in my hand now. You can probably tell from the sound of the propellers quieting. And I don't want to get this quad too close to the car because it does uh, sometimes get a little compass error. All right. The new props right here. I don't know if you can tell or not. They they don't look any different. Any different at all from the uh, stock props. They have markings on them that show the difference. The old props say 9443 on them. And the new ones say 9450. It's really the only the only difference as far as what you can see but they're 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 unquestionably more rigid All right, there's one prop on 
two, one. Three. Oops, I just tapped that microphone, didn't I? Okay, so the old props are off. The new props are on. And uh, how you like my new shoes? Are those awesome? Check that out. They're comfortable too. Okay, now we're going to go out here and try this same test of just kind of zero to 450. I just launched one of the props right into space here. I don't know what happened, but it wasn't, it was not attached. And when I started to take off, this prop just went sky high. So let's try this again. I guess I just didn't have it tightened on there. Okay, I believe I got it now. All right, let's try that again. All right, the first thing I want to do is try the um, the decibel level. They may be just a, a little bit quieter, if so, not much, I don't think. Okay, let's see what battery. I've got 59% battery, so let's do our test again and go up to 400 feet. Last time it took 30 seconds, so here we are ready to start now. I'm at... 121 feet. Three hundred. Four hundred now. And that took 23 seconds. So 23 seconds to get to 400 feet with the new 9450 propellers versus 30 seconds with the old stock propellers. So that's a difference of seven seconds. 